Food and travel are two of life's greatest and most enjoyable experiences. Whether you're traveling abroad or just enjoying a home-cooked dinner, discovering different flavors and cultures can be a fulfilling and enlightening experience. These are 10 enticing facts about food and travel that whet your appetite. They'll increase your knowledge and motivate your next excursions. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel Food and Travel Facts for more future updates. So let's start. Number 1. Italy is the world's largest producer of wine. Italy is well known for its wine producing areas, which range from Sicily to the Italian Alps. Italy is the world's greatest wine producer, with over 1 million acre of vines. The International Organization of Vine and Wine estimates that Italy produces over 24% of the wine consumed worldwide, significantly more than any other nation. Italy has a lengthy history and has earned a deserved reputation for making some of the best wines in the world. 20 different wine-growing areas can be found in Italy, with Tuscany, Piedmont, and Veneto being some of the most well-known. Every location has its own distinct traits and produces its own distinctive varietals, several of which are well-known internationally. Number 2. The world's oldest surviving recipe, written in 1800 BC, is for beer made from barley, wheat and honey. One of the oldest liquids in human history, beer is also one of the most consumed beverages in contemporary civilization. In fact, beer is so old that the oldest recipe still in existence in the world, which was recorded in Mesopotamia over 4000 years ago in cuneiform writing, is for beer. This old recipe, which was discovered in the 1900s, was created between 1800 and 1700 BC. Surprisingly, the only ingredients in the recipe are barley, wheat, and honey. Barley and wheat were combined, then cooked in water to create it. Honey and flavorings would thereafter be added. As no hops were added, this beer was much weaker than the beer we now consume. Nonetheless, it was alcoholic, and it was a fundamental component of Mesopotamian life. Number 3. The most popular dish in the world is rice. With millions of people ingesting it every day, rice is the most well-liked food in the world. It has been a component of diets for countless years and is a staple food for countless numbers of people worldwide. Being widely accessible, adaptable, and simple to prepare, rice is a common ingredient in meals. Almost every culture consumes rice in some manner, and each country has its unique method of cooking it. Although all regions use the same fundamental components, there are regional variations in how they are prepared and cooked. White rice is a common food staple across most of Asia and the rest of the globe. The increasingly well-liked jollof rice is a popular meal in Africa, while arroz con pollo, a common dish in Latin America, is popular in nations like Mexico and Brazil. Rice is a common ingredient in many cuisines, including stir-fries, risottos, and pilafs. In addition to being a side dish or ingredient in a variety of soups, stews, and salads, rice may also be eaten boiled or steamed. It should come as no surprise that rice is the most consumed food in the world given its widespread availability and popularity. People from many walks of life like this adaptable cuisine since it is wholesome and appealing. Number 4. The most popular food in the world is pizza. Without a question, pizza is the most consumed meal in the world. It is a popular choice for many individuals seeking a nice, substantial supper since it is delectable and adaptable. The earliest pizza recipes appeared in Italy in the 1700s, and the dish has a lengthy history. It began as a simple flatbread meal topped with basil, tomatoes, cheese, and olive oil. The toppings have changed throughout time as various ingredients have been added to entice the palate. It's simple to see why pizza is so popular since every person's taste preferences may be accommodated. In fact, practically any set of toppings may be utilized quite well. Throughout time, the pizza dough has also changed. It may be freshly prepared in a pizza oven or pre-baked and frozen. The most common toppings vary greatly from country to country. Although vegetarian foods are more common in India, pepperoni and other meats are the emphasis in the USA. Yet when it comes to pizza, cheese is a necessary element since it provides a meal the beloved traditional cheesy taste. Pizza has overcome its image as an unhealthy food in recent years. Now that there are so many topping options, it's simple to make pizza with healthy ingredients. To entice customers looking for a more health-conscious choice, several pizzerias even provide whole wheat crusts. In the end, pizza is a taste that appeals to people of all ages, which explains why it has maintained its dominance for so long. Pizza continues to be one of the most widely consumed foods in the world and comes in a broad range of topping combinations. Number 5. 
The world's most visited tourist attraction is the Louvre Museum in Paris. The most popular tourist destination in the world is the Louvre Museum, which is situated in Paris, France. Some of the most famous works of art and historical relics in the whole world may be found within this venerable museum, many of which date back hundreds of years. From its first opening in 1793, the Louvre Museum has expanded to become one of the biggest and most varied art museums in the world. It has an amazing collection of more than 35,000 works of art, ranging from impressionist paintings to artifacts from ancient Egypt. The Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci, the Surrealist painting, Les Demoiselles de Vignon, by Pablo Picasso, and many more well-known works are among the most visited attractions by tourists. Each visitor should visit the Louvre Museum because it provides a diverse experience that combines worldwide culture, art, and history. It is not surprising that the Louvre Museum has become the most popular tourist destination in the world given its wide variety of masterpieces and its recognizable glass pyramid entrance. Number 6. The world's longest river is the Nile, measuring 4,258 miles. With 4,258 miles, the Nile River is the longest river in the world. It originates in Burundi and runs through nine nations before emptying into Egypt. It is situated in northeast Africa. Throughout its path, it is a vital source of life and economic development for millions of people. Its significance has been acknowledged and honored throughout time. Even the ancient Egyptians thought of it as the origin of all fertility. It is regarded as a representation of life itself. While the source of the main Nile River has been a subject of human investigation since prehistory, it wasn't until the late 19th century that it was determined that the East African Great Lakes and the White Nile are its sources. A wide range of plant and animal species may be found along the river. It is also a crucial route for moving both people and products. The lush soil along the river's banks makes it possible to produce a range of crops. Great civilizations like the ancient Egyptian culture were founded on its banks as well. The Nile is exceptional in many ways as a river. Since that it has been used for irrigation and transportation for so long, it has actually influenced the course of history over the millennia. Also, a large portion of the region's drinking water comes from its waterways, and many locals rely heavily on its fish as a source of sustenance. Number 7. The world's tallest mountain is Mount Everest, measuring 29,029 feet above sea level. The tallest peak on Earth, Mount Everest, rises to a magnificent height of 29,029 feet. Its imposing summit, which dominates the Himalayan range between Nepal and Tibet, has come to be revered as a symbol of human progress and discovery. Several climbers have attempted to reach its peak due to its spectacular grandeur, and those who have done so were the first to stand at the top of the globe. Even after it broke the global record for height, the mountain is still expanding. The Indian continent is moving towards the Eurasian continent at a pace of 6 to 10 millimeters each year, which contributes to this. The Eurasian plate is pushed up against the mountain as a result of this collision, which keeps Everest climbing. Adventurers and outdoor enthusiasts from all over the world go to Mount Everest because it is regarded as one of the world's greatest accomplishments. Aspiring climbers are put to the test, and the peak can only be reached after months of arduous training and perseverance. To reach Mount Everest's summit, climbers must endure ferocious winds, difficult terrain, and oxygen-deficient environments. Number 8. The world's largest desert is the Sahara, covering 3.5 million square miles. The Sahara, the biggest desert in the world, spans 3.5 million square miles of the African continent from the Red Sea to the Atlantic Ocean. Highs of up to 57 degrees Celsius have been recorded there, making it the hottest desert in the world, according to legend. With its huge, golden sand dunes, lush oasis, and many mountain ranges, the Sahara Desert has a special, rich beauty. Although having a harsh appearance, it is home to a variety of animals, including wildcats, fennec foxes, Dorcas gazelles, and golden jackals. The nomadic Berber people have lived in the area for millennia, depending on their cattle, fishing, and crops in regions where rainfall is more abundant, despite the region's dry environment. The Sahara's importance in human history stretches back many thousands of years. Some of the earliest known human artifacts have been unearthed in the area, and it is thought that the Sahara originally had a more pleasant climate, known as the Green Desert. Number 9. The world's most populous city is Shanghai, with over 24 million residents. The city with the most population is Shanghai. This huge city, which is a major financial and international commercial center and is home to more than 24 million people, is situated in the Yangtze River Delta. Shanghai is a bright, busy, and bustlingly diversified metropolis with a staggeringly large population. 
Shanghai is a melting pot of many cultures, languages, and lifestyles as a consequence of its rapid expansion. Despite its small, it is quite hospitable and open to visitors. Visitors visit Shanghai in droves to experience the city's distinct charm and take in the sights of the greatest metropolis on earth. Shanghai is unlike many other cities in the globe in that it offers something for everyone. From old alleys and temples, to exhilarating skyscrapers, to parks and cityscapes, this dynamically packed metropolis provides something for everyone. It has fantastic cuisine, amazing fashion, a wide range of entertainment and recreational opportunities, as well as an intriguing fusion of the ancient and the modern. Number 10. The country with the most international airports is the United States, with over 13,000 airports. The aviation industry is well established in the United States of America. It has grown steadily and today has more than 13,000 airports, making it the biggest in the world. It represents one-third of the total in the globe and more than twice as many airports as China, the country with the second highest number of airports. According to the Federal Aviation Administration, the U.S. also has the most international airports, FAA. Five of the top ten busiest airports in the world are located in the USA. The busiest airports in the nation are Chicago O'Hare, Los Angeles International, and United New York Newark. As many foreign tourists utilize these airports, this is not surprising. To increase travel safety and convenience for nation residents and citizens, the American Transportation Authority FAA, and other governmental entities have made significant investments in the aviation sector. The development of new airports is likewise expanding quickly in the U.S. During the last several years, hundreds of new airports have opened as a consequence of government and private sector initiatives to build infrastructure and public works projects. The upgraded infrastructure has made flying safer, more pleasant, and more effective. Citizens of this nation now have significantly wider access to air travel than ever before, from rural regions to urban hubs. This is it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel Food and Travel Facts for more future updates. Thanks for watching.